I got me a Declan Trim brisket from HEB at $4.49 a pound. I got a little one because I like to buy these every now and then. Costs about 30 bucks. And it's easy to cook. Way I'm fixing to show you how to cook it. Cook this brisket, but I want to show you. You see how your meat, you see those lines? You see how it runs this way? So if you was to cut this brisket, you would cut it like this when it's cooked, okay? Now, okay, on this brisket, we're gonna put mayo, and you can put any kind of mayo you want, whatever you want, but we're gonna rub it all on there. And the reason why I use mayonnaise, because mayonnaise is basically eggs and oil. It will seal the juices inside the meat, and it will lay down the seasoning perfectly to create a beautiful bark. Mustard does not do as good, but mustard can be used if you want, but I prefer mayonnaise. You're gonna use coarse sea salt, or you can use kosher salt. Just make sure your salt is coarse, and we're gonna do it pretty heavy on the meat side up first. Then we're gonna hit it with coarse black pepper, Now when that's done, we're gonna take that meat side and we're gonna put it down. And remember, we have mayonnaise over all of it, so we're gonna coarse, we're gonna put coarse salt on the fat cap, fat side, and we're gonna be pretty generous with it. Also, black pepper. We've done the sides, we've done everything. We got this thing completely covered. So now we got these ribs, and I'm gonna put mayonnaise on those too. And you're probably wondering yourself, oh man, you can't cook uh, spare ribs with, with brisket. That's two different temperatures. No, it's not. That's the whole point. If you're cooking your ribs different than you cook your brisket, you're messing up. Takes patience. You got to have patience. We're gonna season it all the way around with coarse sea salt and coarse black, coarse black pepper. But you see my brisket? I've got it going this way because I like the way that travels over the heat, cooks more evenly perfect. It doesn't cook evenly perfect if you're going this way. That means it'll be cooler over here and hotter over there, and we don't want that. Most people mess up. They put too much wood in there. Put you a couple sticks, get it going, and see how it does. You don't want to over put it in there. That's called the fuel, and if you get too much in there, it gets too hot, and it already ruins your barbecue. Start out small and work your way up. Easy, have patience. When cooking, you're not looking for a temp or how many hours or whatever. You're looking for a color, the change of color to like this. Now it's time to wrap. You're looking for this kind of color. That's exactly what you're looking for. And look at that beautifulness right there. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Same thing with the ribs. Baby. Next time you ask, well, how long does it take? Well, this seven pounder took about 12 hours. It doesn't really matter about time or temp. The only thing that's important is color and just keeping a steady heat. Low and slow, about 180 to 200. Those ribs are proof too. Right on. Yeah, man.